Hey everybody, Bookie TV X, Common Sense. I'm gonna say some shit I haven't said ever. Ever. Subscribe, like, and comment, and share. I rebooted this channel to try and save the youth. It may be in a harsh way, but it's necessary. You can't put a kid in the corner no more. They'll turn around and blow your fucking head off with a Draco. You get what I'm saying? All that soft shit. Oh, okay, you don't gonna be on punishment. Punishment? This nigga just killed two people. You tell my goddamn punishment? He punishing you. And I do this for the situation that happened with my son to where he's doing 30 years in prison at the age of 16. No driver's license, no shot on his 21st birthday, uh, no rental, he ain't rented nothing, he ain't nothing. So everything that we do and, and it's easy to us, his kids is never gonna see that. All that nice shit is over. Support it. We got to save these kids, man. It don't matter if we only save one. At least we did something. We could go up there with our little one save, and guys are going to kick us right on through. And we're going to go hang out with everybody. Toast up and shit. It's not going to hurt. Let's get it going. Let's get it goddamn going. Every kid and youth deserves a shot at life. Thank y'all for y'all time. Hey everybody, Pookie TV X, Common Sense. Sorry I had to move away from all the goddamn noise over there, man. I'm gonna have to walk my shit back on that goddamn take off shit. Well, not walk it back, but just Charleston White said some shit that made a lot of goddamn sense. Even though it was in a disrespectful way and, 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 and again, no person should be should, should be recorded in their last days dying out on the ground. Nobody. But he made a lot of sense, man. Do they care And it's average people shot in the face six times. Do they care and go to any funerals that they fans have or that they know in their city? No, they don't. And it made some good goddamn sense what he was saying. So I can see I can see both sides of it because. We are in an age now where recording is just a push away. Just a goddamn push away. You could be walking to see some shit, and the first thing you do, pull your shit out and start goddamn recording. Like goddamn all these news people recording. Everybody a news person now. Everybody. We, we, are in a state of, and I hate to say this, of not giving a fuck about life and about each other and about what happens to the next person. We are in a state of we don't give a fuck. And it's sad because nobody gives a fuck until it happens that close to home. And then after he's like, God damn, you know, um, I think I've been thinking a little bit goddamn wrong about shit. Yeah, I've been thinking a little bit wrong about shit. This right here just snapped me back to goddamn reality. And it shouldn't take that. You can't go out or go anywhere without being recorded. Sometimes you're recorded and you don't even goddamn know you recorded. Until you do something and they bring that shit up to you in court. You're like, God damn. Where was that goddamn camera hiding at? I damn sure didn't see it. 
so people are recording homeless people and when you when you it's hard because when you I don't want to say a fan because nobody should be a fan of nobody but when you're a fan of somebody and you grew up listening to this person and now you're seeing his fucking brains on a goddamn ground you feel a connection that was just like I did about Aaliyah Tupac Biggie didn't know him from a can of paint. But they was in my life. They, they music and they words and they interviews was in my life. So it was like a double-edged sword. Do you wanna, sometimes you wanna pull your phone out and record and, and if you don't, you missed out on what could be potential evidence for the family. an innocent lady getting shot in the fucking head. Hey, a child being kidnapped. That little flash and that little cord of that, of that license plate and that fucking car can do can go a whole a whole way to some justice. So on that on that issue man I have no I have no really one way to go about it. Like I, I like what they what they say on the fence. Yeah, I'm on the goddamn fence about it. Yeah, I'm on the goddamn fence. Goddamn right, I'm on the goddamn fence because the shit that Charleston White said was real, and the shit that Gilly said was definitely real. So you can see both sides. Nobody want to see, especially an innocent brother clinging to life and people sitting there recording. How many times have we seen it? Because even if even if that it wasn't caught it was a camera in there somewhere, I'm pretty sure. And I'm pretty sure it will be coming out. And I'm pretty sure they're studying it right now. I'm pretty sure about that. So again on that, I just want to walk back on that and say I'm on the fence. I feel both sides of it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be wishy-washy on this one. I, I, I'm on the goddamn fence about it. You're damn right, I'm on the goddamn fence about it. Because they don't give a damn about what happens to average people like that. They don't give a damn about it. Who the fuck? They don't even know. They don't even know. Life goes on. They keep doing that shit. I just wanted to walk that back on there, man, and clear that shit up. I mean, I'm definitely on the fence. Definitely on the goddamn fence. That innocent brother shouldn't have had to go like that, man, at all. Y'all stay positive, man. Common sense.